NWA. Hey guys, uh, Celeb here. Um, this has been requested a lot from people in my alliance, outside my alliance, and just in general. So I want to talk about troop formation. And I've been thinking about the best way to do this. Um, there's a lot of information out there about how you should organize your troops. And I'm just going to go for what I know to be the best way from as, you know, bird's eye view as I can here, because there's all sorts of different instances uh, where certain things are going to work better for certain situations, certain players, depending what tier level your troops are, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to give something that I hope will be the most uh, actionable and usable information. And um, I'll break into a little bit of detail on some of it, but it, it'd be an hour long video. So I'm going to show what we do, what I do, what I know to be the best, both from my own personal anecdotal evidence and lots of trial and error, which I've done. And then, you know, from getting information from lots of other people um, online and in other, you know, communities who play the game. So um, the biggest thing, what we do, there should be a focus on long range for your upgrades, uh, long range attack, long range defense, long range HP across the board. Um, I'm a more offensive minded player. I know a lot of people are, but long range is where you are going to get the bulk of your, uh, your firepower, your attack, um, that's where your meat and potatoes are. So you want to focus on upgrading long range as much as you can. Even if you have not done that yet, this, start doing it now, and this is still the best uh, setup. What we do, and what I recommend everybody do, and again from a base point of view, is so frontline, you're going to want to have 50 shredders. Um, mine's a little different right now, but I'm going to set it up how it should be. I'm C31 and I got some weird stuff going on. But so you want to have 50 shredders, 50 to 100 shredders, depending on your economy and depending on the situation that you're in. But as a rule, 50 shredders, then one of every other unit for the front line. Okay. Then middle row, one of every unit. That's it for the middle. With the possible exception being 50 to 100 gunners right here. If you, uh, if you're going against something that's a little beefy or whatever, but we're, we're talking PVP, by the way, it shows that player versus player troop formation when you're attacking other cities. Um, 50, 50 to 100 gunners, optional, but really it should just be one, one of every unit in the middle. Then back row, you want the bread and butter for everyone is going to be snipers and cannons. So one of everything else, and then you're going to max out snipers and cannons. Um, kind of an even spread. Uh, now, this depends also, it starts to depend what level you are, what tier soldiers you have. Um, so that can get a little bit in the weeds. But if you're at a point right now and you're not sure what your troop formation should look like from a basic level, what you want is max snipers, max cannons. Depending, the order depends where you're at. But if you don't, if you're not sure, do about half and half snipers and cannons, one of everything else. Um, now, the only other thing is that lasers here, the EMP cannons, um, they have a very powerful attack. They are some of the most, they have arguably the most powerful attack in the game. They are also, in early levels especially, um, until you get to T10, and even so here, um, they're fragile. So they have a great attack, they pack a wallop, but if you're going up against a strong opponent, um, they can die pretty quickly. So what I would say is if you have EMP cannons, I would say pretty much max out on snipers and your regular cannons, like uranium cannons or flame cannons, where they may be, and then maybe like one third of it put in your laser cannons. And you'll see on your own uh, that they can be quite fragile. If you're fighting somebody weaker than you, no, you're just going to get great kills and they'll be fine. But if you get in a hard battle, they fall pretty fast. Um, that, that is the best PvP setup. So again, and, and this is the reasons why, just to be, I'm trying to be succinct here, but why it's the best, it's allowing you to get maximum damage, maximum kills with minimal losses. Your front line is just like fodder. Just think of that. Your front line is there just to absorb damage while your powerful black line, back line deals out the damage. Okay. It's the best way to approach it. And so 50 to hundred shredders in front, go for 50. Uh, in front, in the middle, one of each unit. In the back, 
one of everything besides your snipers and your cannons that you want to max out with those as many as you have and you can throw in some laser cannons a smaller amount if you're at that level and you understand their fragility and that's where you're at so that for pvp that is the best setup and it's what you should aim for upgrade your long range long range units as much as you can across the board uh, i start with attack then defense and hp spend all your upgrading should be there and then um, you can upgrade melee a bit too but i didn't start doing that till later so that's the best pvp setup that there is if you stick with that and if you, if you have not been doing that currently and you start doing it even if you haven't been upgrading with that in mind you'll you will instantly see you will lose much less and so like and and the idea is and what's important about it is you're minimizing losses you're not going to lose those expensive and valuable long-range units and you can attack again 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 and you're only going to lose you know some of your shredders or if it's a really hard battle you lose some but not as much that's the best setup um now quickly that's the most important part of this video and so i want people to understand that and that is like your your bread and butter setup right there for pvp when you're going up against zombies or monsters or um i have a skill called sos which is but if you have that you probably already know what you're doing but in certain those situations where you're not going to lose troops like they'll just go to your hospital then there are some little fluctuations you can make to add some power uh where because it doesn't matter as much um but as a rule that's the best setup and then one other thing i'll touch on if you're going against monsters that are um individual monsters like you're doing your alliance where you're fighting the elite zombies or you're going against a uh, like a crusher or you're doing something where it's just one thing that you're attacking um you snipers are going to be your go-to um depending on your tier sometimes throwing cannons in as well can have some benefit depending on what level your troops are there's not a really good reason why as to that but snipers are really good at targeting down um one specific target and every like third shot they have that you know triple hit whatever that gives them exponential damage so for going against things like that you want to do one of every unit and snipers just as a rule of thumb purists or people who have been playing for a while will might you know cry foul here and say there's other things that you should do little details yeah, okay that's right and there's something a little different that i do now at c31 against certain monsters but that is when you were talking differences of like a few million here and there about how much damage you do per hit but for people who just don't have any idea and are just throwing you know whatever against the wall to see what sticks what you want when you have individual targets is one of every unit and uh snipers and you'll see the damage uh that will get dealt there so i'll show you guys uh one more thing to give you an example of why here while i'm recording this video so i'm gonna go to uh i'm gonna challenge the elite zombie let me real quick here just put on a couple little buffs for this because i like to do as much damage as i can i'm gonna do an advanced attack use one of those and um i'm not going to do hp for this because i'm going to hold on to it. i don't really think i have a reason to right now so well screw it just for the sense of, like some ocd all right so i'm going to go over to uh my challenge elite zombie or battle two or two there's me slow pro so i'm going to click on this and this is where i'm going to send i do one of every unit and i'm going to max out my snipers i should have just done that um, so I think I have that set up just about right here. I'm at 212, 166. How much do I need to go up? Oh, 171, 172. There we go. So that is, and I have one of every other unit. It's like I lost a soldier there. I, and, and my snipers. And I'm going to show you like, I'm going to show you an example of this versus like what a normal fleet that I would send out would look like. And you guys will see just, you know, in real time here, the difference. So I'm going to attack now with this that's enough i think i'm getting a little detail so i have one of every unit and then max my snipers for uh, this attack on the elite zombie so i set out here we go and this is a good example that you can watch in the video of why you do this because the, these zombies they do so much damage on each attack and they'll waste a full attack on every single one of these uh units you have that only has one in there while that's happening my two hundred twelve thousand you know t10 snipers are hammering down on him um causing a great deal of damage and that's allows you to do a uh, 
a lot of damage. So I'll we'll see how much damage I do here, and then I'll show you uh, another example. All right, got him, done. So that's what I was talking about with the, uh, all right, it looks like I did, I think I was at 95 million. Well, you'll be able to see in the video what my damage was before. So I don't remember off the top of my head, but now, so now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do my second attack and I'll do like what I would use normally as like, this is one of my uh, PVP setups. And so we'll see that I'm at 174, 174 million is where I'm at right now. So we'll do the math after I do this. So I'll send what I would send. This is one of my PVP setups. So don't worry about how mine looks different because I said I'm at, it's for different reasons. So we'll see how much damage I do with this one compared to uh, the last one. Kind of speed this along for you guys. Um, and it's just an example of what I'm talking about. It's be something you guys can see. If you go back in the video, you can see what um, I was at before I did my first attack to see the actual difference here. So I just did that one. Okay. And I went from one to 234. So I went from, I think it was 174, we said to 234. A guarantee in my first attack. It's a great deal more damage uh, with just the snipers. But so those are some basic. I'll can do some other videos later about um, for certain like bosses or certain situations, like different setups and why. Uh, but that, what I said, the one of each unit, 50 shredders, 50 to 100 shredders, optional sometimes if you're going up against something where there's more resistance, 50 to 100 gunners, and then just max out your snipers and your cannons. And uh, there's lots of stuff online you can look at, lots of different resources that, uh, for like in wh which instances or what level your troops are at, whether you want more cannons, more snipers, whether you want to throw in some laser cannons. But for as far as just the basics go, that is the best uh, troop setup. So come at me if you disagree. Um, I hope this uh, helps. And leave any comments or like and subscribe if you like the videos. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.